What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I'm very happy to say that the untethered 4.2.1 jailbreak has been released for Windows. Now this is Green Poison RC5, and it's just been released for the iPhone 4, the 3GS, the 3G, the iPod Touch 4th, 3rd, and 2nd gen models, as well as the iPad. It does not matter if it's an MC model, new or old boot ROM, or if you don't have your SHSH saved. This works for 4.2.1 again, and it is a very fast jailbreak. Now, I've already tested it on a couple devices, and it works great. So go ahead and go to greenpoison.com. And mine's being a little wonky right now. It's not loading, but I'll try and get a mirror link in the description as well. So once you've got that downloaded, get Green Poison on your desktop and go ahead and open it. Now before we begin, I want to mention that this is an untethered jailbreak, meaning that you will not have to use a computer to reboot your device if it turns off or the battery dies. And you will not lose any data, so if you're going through with this, you're not going to lose anything. All it does is untethers your device and installs Cydia. Now for those of you that have jailbroken before with a tethered device or have the 6.15 baseband, all you're going to have to do is use this green poison jailbreak and you're done. Those of us that have a clean device that is wiped clean, maybe restored, or never been jailbroken before, we're going to have to do another step after this. But for those of you that have a tethered jailbreak, all you're doing is running green poison and you're done. Alright, so I'm on an iPod Touch 4th gen, that's on 4.2.1, and it is freshly restored, so I do not have Cydia, and make sure again that you have Green Poison downloaded and open, and your device is plugged into your computer. Now we're going to turn our device off, and we're going to be putting it into DFU mode now. So we're going to press prepare to jailbreak, and in 3, 2, 1, we're going to press that power button. So here we go. Power button for 2, 1, combined with home button for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let go of the power button and continue holding home. Now, again, I'd recommend that you hold your home button throughout the jailbreak as it does help. And then we're going to click jailbreak now your device may flash and eventually you'll have a bunch of letters on it so this is all normal just stay with me there you go so the jailbreak is working and here we are on the text now a lot of people were getting stuck on this on the Mac version it has been fixed in Windows so everything is perfectly fine Now I'm just going to let Green Poison run here, and in just a second we're going to get to the verbose boot or jailbreak, and you'll be able to see it working. Alright, so now on our device it will begin. There we go. So this will take a little bit. I will be right back when it's done. Hopefully we will be able to reboot our device untethered on 4.2.1. Alright, so our device is rebooting now after the Green Poison jailbreak. And we will see the boot logo animation in just a second. There you go. This means that our device is jailbroken and untethered on 4.2.1. So my iPod will reboot right now and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we go now we see loader on our device and for those of you that were previously jailbroken you will have to remove this because you do not need it for the rest of us we will go into it and click Cydia and press install now to remove it you just go into options and press remove loader app now make sure you have Wi-Fi and go ahead and install it now it'll be fairly quick so I'll be right back when it's done after it's done loading it'll reboot and there you go you have Cydia on your 4.2.1 device and it is untethered so a big big thanks to the chronic dev team that made this available to all of us really hope this worked for you and enjoy your untethered jailbreak this was everything Apple Pro please comment rate and subscribe and enjoy your jailbroken device